purchase your new machine today by visiting sewingmachinesplus.com or stop by one of our retail locations.
Hey, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, Blaine Austin, Soul Machines Plus, and welcome to our live show. I hope everybody is recovered from last week. <laughs> so, hey, I got uh, David in the house. I got Kyle in the house, and uh, they're kind of recovered, and, and uh, I'm almost recovered. I'm still a little tired from, from last week, but hey, if y'all join, if you didn't join in, you missed out. We had an unbelievable show, and uh, we were on for six days, about seven and a half hours a day. We streamed and with Hoop Fest, and uh, what a great show we had! And and man, I tell you, it was it was so much fun, and and just seeing all those great presenters that we had was pretty fantastic. So, uh, hey Joyce, I see Joyce Pfeiffer's on this morning, and uh, and uh, all the y Yolanda's on. Good morning, everybody. Glad y'all are making it this morning. Hey guys, I got to tell you, first thing we've got, I got to tell you about today. I have got something pretty cool uh, that's that we're going to do today. Oh, hello from Arkansas. Hey, Rosita. Uh, that's where I'm from. I don't know if you know that. So, Rosita, tell us where in Arkansas that you're from or where you're living right now. I'm curious. I always like when somebody tells me they're from Arkansas because I am in. I grew up in a little bitty small town uh, in northeast Arkansas, just under the Boot Hill, Missouri. So, And uh, I want to say a shout out to my mom, Marietta, if she's watching today. So, high up in Arkansas. And uh, so Nana says, Hoop Fest was a lot of fun. Man, Nana, it sure was. Um, <clears throat> Y'all, excuse me, my throat is still, I'm still got a scratchy throat. I'm still recovering from <laughs> talking for six days. Um, but uh, Carolyn saying, loved Hoop Fest. Hey, Carolyn, we're so happy that you tuned in. And, and uh, I thought it was a great, uh, great event. I mean, really, you know, when you bring that many people together, uh, it takes a lot of work to just to coordinate that many people presenting for six days and, and that many times a day. And, uh, oh, excuse me, I'm getting a phone call. So, um, but anyway, we were, uh, you know, trying to uh, make sure that, uh, uh, you know, we had great people on the show. And, you know, I think we did. I think we pulled it off. And, you know, we had a few little, you know, hitches here and there that, that uh, but we, you know, I thought it went pretty smooth and, and, uh, so Mary saying Hoop Fest was great. Well, thanks, Mary. Glad you got to watch. And I hope y'all got to take, you know, in, uh, you know, advantage of some of those specials that we had. But guys, I got to tell you what we're doing today, too. We've got Carly Bell coming on today. And, and I don't know if y'all got to see Carly Bell. Um, Carly Bell uh, is just awesome. I mean, she is just a, such a good educator. And uh, she's going to come on today. And we're going to talk about one of the machines. We're featuring four brother machines today. And she's going to talk about one of them that she actually has, and it's the, the NQ uh, 3600D, and that's the Disney, uh, you know, it's a sewing and embroidery machine. And this is the one I bought my wife, Michelle, for Valentine's Day. I bought her this machine. It's a 6 by 10 hoop. This is just a great machine. But anyway, I got to tell y'all what, uh, oh, Ladybug uh, says, so much fun watching. Y'all did great. Thank you. Thank you, Ladybug. Um, so I got to tell y'all um, about these machines that we're going to talk about today. If y'all are in the market today, or you have been for an embroidery machine or a sewing machine, I've got four machines that I got a special buy on with Brother. And then I'm, when I say a special buy, the best buy that I've had in probably, when you say Kyle, five years? That's right, yeah. Probably about five years. I'm, I'm being honest. Even back before I came to Sewing Machine Plus, when I was at another dealer, I, you know, when I was in Louisiana, this is probably the best buy that I've able to purchase. And I can tell you what happens sometimes when we do this. You know, we, we get opportunities sometimes with quantities to get certain pricing. And, you know, a lot of times we get a good price and we, we don't change the price to the customer. You know, it's the same, uh, what they call map pricing. This one, I'm passing that savings on to the customers. I'm going to make sure that everybody that wants one of these machines is going to get the best deal of their lifetime on these. And I can't tell y'all today, and I think y'all, if you've ever been on my show, you're going to know that sometimes I say, oh, I can't tell you what the price is on these. Um, I'm going to tell you what the regular price is on them today. But what I'm going to tell you is you're going to have to call in and you just call in today and say, hey, I want the Blaine's brother special. And I've got a price. We've got some packages put together for you. But I've got some stuff that I'm telling you, if you're in a market for one, this is going to be your opportunity. And so Nick's team is going to be standing by today on the phones. And again, Kyle's over there. If you can't get through on the phones, because we know we're busy, we, we just know that. You know, the phones usually stay pretty busy all day. 
Uh, he's going to put that Google Sheets link up in the chat, so you can just click on that, uh, put in the, you know, just put your name, your contact number, and just if you want to just put, a, I, I'm inquiring about the Blaine's Brother Special. They're going to call you and they're going to know what you're calling about, and they'll tell you what the machines, or you're going to know what machine you want because you're going to see what I'm going to show you a bit. Uh, anyway, we're going to talk about those today, and uh, um, but such such good pricing on them, so I want to share that with y'all and pass it on. And it's going to be today and today only because we know that uh, we are limited on quantities of them and we know that we're going to go through them. So I'm just going to do it today and a day only. And uh, that way, if you're on here and you're going to be the ones that's going to get the advantage of those. So uh, look at uh, uh, Yvonne saying, oh, my God, I wanted a Disney machine. Hey, you're going to get your opportunity to get one today. I promise you. <laughs> so, um, hey, we got to talk a little bit about Hoop Fest. Though, before we bring Carly on, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Hoop Fest. So, I know that uh, most of y'all probably on here got to see it. And uh, anyway, I wanted to uh, actually talk a little bit about the winners uh, that uh, you know entered our contest. And if y'all remember, what we did is we had an embroidery project contest. You just do some sort of embroidery project. You entered the pictures. And what that did is that got you on a page where they could vote and you, the viewers all voted on these. And we had over 40,000 people voted. And, you know, so, and we took the top three and basically each one of those won like an embroidery package with a machine and, and uh, some embroidery things to go with it. And I think, you know, first place was about 3000, second place was about 2000. And, and I think third was like 1100. Um, so anyway, I wanted to kind of show those projects to you again this morning and uh, show you what they turned in and show you the places and talk a little bit about each one too. So if we could, David, could we pull those up and, and show everybody? So there was our, our top three. And if you didn't get a chance to see the show and get to see these, um, you know, the, those things are just awesome. And, and I think y'all maybe know Ella Bly. She's right there in the middle. She got second place. Ella is a frequent visitor on our show. And, uh, you know, and Ella, I got to tell you the story, uh, you know, Ella too. Ella, on when we had uh, Quilt Fest back in March, Ella won that Rico printer, that direct-to-garment printer. She's the one that won that. And uh, so, you know, she was just so thrilled about it. So she sent a, a uh, email to me and said, hey, I want to send some stuff to uh, Sew Machines Plus. And so we got this big box full of T-shirts and uh, that she did in, uh, for the employees of the company. And it was pretty awesome. And she made her own design and had, you know, Hoop Fest on, or on there at the bottom. And, you know, she's a, 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 I think it was a scuba diver, wasn't it, Kyle? I think she scuba yeah. dives. And she had like some, some uh, scenery of the ocean and turtles and things on it. And she had the coordinates for uh, like San Diego. And she had our Mission Bay store location. It was just a kind of cool shirt, like a theme shirt. And I think if y'all remember, Kyle was even wearing one uh, at Hoop Fest, or yeah, at Hoop Fest one day. Kyle had one on, and we we put it on the show. So anyway, I just you know big shout out to Ella for doing that. I thought that was so sweet of her to do that. But then you know congratulations to her for winning second place, and and uh, I thought that was pretty awesome. But anyway, let's let's talk about it. you know we had John Keach. Y'all can see his is the first one there on the left. You know John won first place and just uh, incredible piece of artwork. And I mean, this thing is so awesome that you could have that framed and have it hanging on your wall. It's, uh, I mean, it's pretty incredible what he did there. And uh, so I got a big shout out to John. And I think we did get an email from his wife, you know, saying, hey, you know, I'm, I'm John's wife. And, uh, you know, he won the, uh, the, the first place. And I think she was trying to claim the, claim the prize. So if uh, we're going to get everybody's prizes out there to them, I think they're still trying to contact people and uh, get all that done. And Kathy uh, Gerber says, very cool to to uh, Ella to make those shirts. It sure was, Kathy. I, I thought that was just so nice of her to, to do that. So, And then, uh, so we already talked about Ella a little bit. Let's talk about the the Marilyn. And uh, Marilyn Delahoy uh, is the one on the far right. And uh, that is a pretty incredible embroidery piece. And I don't know if y'all know a little bit about Photo Stitch, but Photo Stitch um, is a a program that you can put in a, um, you know, on your computer. And basically what you can do is you can take it, you can digitize a photo and in, into the stitches, basically what it does. And I've got a little bit of experience with this. And I don't know if y'all remember this way back, I'd made my wife 
a quilt had it made um, that had uh, out of her dad's father's shirts that he had passed away when she was young. And she had been keeping all these shirts for years in, in a suitcase. And so I had those shirts made into a quilt. A friend of mine did. It was so you know nice to do it. And I had Cindy Hogan actually help me. Uh, we took his signature and digitized it. We took a, a photo and she digitized that and did the photo stitch just like you're seeing on the screen. And we made, we put that as a center point of that quilt. And so, you know, I, you know, big shout out to Cindy for doing that for me. She was so sweet to do that, but that's exactly what this is. It's, it's a, a photo stitch type photo with embroidery and it just brings a quilt or things to life. I mean, it's unbelievable. And, What's so awesome about it? Yeah, when you get up close, you can tell it's stitches and everything. But when you're looking like the like you're seeing on that screen, it actually looks like a photograph. It's uh, pretty incredible. So there's a lot of different softwares out there, digitizing softwares that have that feature in it, and that you can do. So it's it's pretty cool to be able to do things like that. And and I think Carly, you know, when she gets on here, we, we can probably talk if she's ever done some some of this photo stitching as well because you can just do so many things with embroidery. So anyway, I just want to say a big shout out to our, our top three winners and, and what they did. And, and, you know, you got to feel pretty honored. Uh, you're, you won, you're in a top three uh, out of 40,000, over 40,000 people that voted. I, I just think that's a, a, an honor to have that many people, you know, your peers to, to vote on you like that. So, um, you know, I, I, I love that this, this happened and, you know, next year, guys, we're going to do Hoop Fest again, and, and we're going to probably change it up a little bit. We're going to have two different categories for embroidery because, you know, I, tell, I think I explained that to y'all before. The reason we only did one category is because you never know how many people are going to enter in anything. And so now that we know that people are interested, they're going to enter a, a project, we can divide that up into a couple of different categories. So we'll probably do that. And I think we're going to do, do that for the Quilt Fest in March next year, too. We're going to have a couple of different categories for quilting. Uh, you know, we didn't this past year just, you know, for the fact that, again, we didn't know how many people would enter. So we're going to get that done. So that'd be fun. Oh, Kim, there's Kim Wolf this morning. Good morning, Kim. Uh, she goes, Marilyn's design is beautiful. It sure was. I, I just, I, I loved all three of them. So, and what's a funny, uh, you know, the, the first place winner, his remind me of, I don't know why, but it's kind of reminds me of like a New Orleans themed uh artwork like some people do things like that they they have a lot of artwork in new orleans that they do paintings like that so it kind of i bet carly can probably carly's a louisiana girl just outside of new orleans so we can probably i bet she can probably see that as well so um and then i wanted to talk about our grand prize winner do we have the her name kyle did we, we ever oh there it is so deborah deborah shelton she won our grand prize winner and uh is she i don't think deborah's even contacted us yet have has she yet. so we're going to give deborah a call today and reach out to her we've just been so busy after hoop fest getting everything wrapped up this this first this week we haven't really had a chance to call her but we thought she might contact us but she hadn't yet so we're going to give deborah a call this week and and uh, we'll probably let y'all know how that goes and, and what she says and and how surprised she was, and, and uh, maybe we can get her to drop by the show, a future show, and, and say hi to us, and how surprised she was. So, but we got that. We're going to give out to her, and we're excited about that. So, anyway, guys, are y'all ready to? Uh, I think we're ready to talk to Carly, man, this morning. Um, anyway, hey, uh, let's bring Carly Bell on. So, Carly, good morning, and I hope you're doing well. Hi, Blaine. How are you? I'm doing awesome. So I don't know if you how long you've been tuned in, but we were talking about. Did you see the first place entry in the for the that one? Yes, it was. Does that beautiful. remind you kind of that New Orleans artwork, like it, the blue? It kind of looks something? a little bit like a Jazz Fest poster. A yeah, bit. that's what. I, yeah, is the Jazz Fest the one that always had the blue dog on it? Um, no, the blue dog is a artist in New Orleans. It starts with the M. I can't remember, but he's he's a famous New Orleans artist, okay. and he does the Blue Dog. Okay, I can remember. I know that it, I knew it reminded me like the Jazz Fest posters, and mm -hmm. in and but that, I thought that was su such a cool piece, you know, and it looked like a piece of artwork, just like you would see in in New Orleans on the somebody's wall, you know. So, hey, yeah. so I don't know. We were talking a little bit about the photo stitch. Have you ever experienced doing any of the photo stitching? I have not played with photo stitch, but it is very intriguing to me. I, I want to learn because it looks <laughs> so cool. 
Well, hey, I gotta gotta give you a big shout out too, Carly. I know that you know you were part of a hoop fest and you came on and, and did the applique part. And man, did we get tons of raving reviews uh, about you. And I got a couple emails that people had sent me and just said, Carly was the best. Uh, you know, we'd love to see more of Carly. And so again, if they want to see more of you, they can actually go right to your website. Mm -hmm. And on your website, you have all the, the links to your, your, all your Facebook groups. You have your YouTube page, all those things. So it's just carlybell.com, correct? Yes, that's it. So there y'all go. If y'all want to see more Carly, carlybell.com. She has all the different media that she's on. And I would encourage y'all to go check out. She has a live. Is it every other Friday night, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. And we're having one tomorrow night. So when you go to the <laughs> website, you'll see anything you see with sip and stitch. That all right. <laughs> is sip. what we do. So every other Smoky. Friday night, I'll do a live tutorial on my YouTube channel and go. it's from start to finish, show you all the nitty gritty pieces in between and we complete a different project every time. There you go. So y'all, I encourage y'all to go check that out tomorrow night and it, it starts at, would you, what time do you sell me? Seven? I start at seven central. Central time. So 7 p.m. central time. That's That would be uh, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Yeah. So, Y'all make sure y'all y'all mark that down. Go check out her sip and stitch. And uh, I think I should be like give some credit for having the response, you know, be responsible for you naming your crew because I, I actually in one of the shows I asked uh, uh, Carl, I said, what's the name of your 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 group? You know, because Angela Wolf had her wolf pack and I said, you got to name them. And so they came up with a name and the sip and stitch crew. So I like that. Sip and stitch squad. squad. I always say crew. Like I made a shirt. <laughs> oh, there you go. Because I know, you know what it was? You had had some, some uh, y'all were voting or something, but one of them was like the New Orleans cruise from Mardi Gras. You right, had right. I was, was it Carly's crew or something? Yeah, I was, I put out, so you, yes, it was, this is all you. Like I wouldn't have thought that, you know, a name or anything like that, but I, I love the idea. So I put it out there. I have a, um, a Facebook group and um, I put it out there. I'm like, what do y'all want to call yourselves? And so I had a couple ideas and, and a few of the people that were watching that show that was, I think for Christmas, um, gave some ideas, you know, right off the bat. And one of them was Carly's crew and a, a New Orleans Mardi Gras crew is spelled K-R-E-W-E. -E. Yes. So, and my name starts with a K. So it looked cute together with the two Ks. They had like something about uh, Carly's bells, something like that. And then we did sip and stitch divas and then and then my friend Carol said, sip and stitch squad. And I was like, squad. I like that one. I know I got to get the crew out of my head and think about squad. <laughs> Cause I always, I think I say that every single time I always say the sip and stitch crew, the <laughs> sip, and, sip and stitch squad. So I, I'll remember that now the three we have to make it a tongue twister for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Amelia says, I think we all sip when we stitch. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pretty good. Patricia says, love the sip and sip and, and stitch squad. So uh, I, I think we all, I think we all love it, Carly. So, hey, I know this morning we're going to talk a little bit about we may, may maybe not this morning for some of y'all. I know it's, uh, yes. you know, it's time, your, your time. <laughs> so, uh, but it's, you know, it's morning time out here in California. So we're going to talk a little bit about that 3600 D, the mm -hmm. Disney version. And uh, I know that you have that machine and, and you've been using it and it has been such a great machine. And I tell everybody, you know, I bought that thing for my wife for Valentine's Day. She wanted to get into embroidery to start doing, you know, like jean jackets and different things and just for gifts for people. And so I was, you know, first of all, you always think, well, let me get her a little four by four, you know, embroidery machine. Well, I saw at that time, Lewis Carney and Jerry Granada were on our show and did demos on that, those, that machine. And they just rant and raved over it. Well, I talked to both of them on the phone. I said, well, look, this is what I'm thinking about, you know, getting, uh, you know, getting something for Michelle. And they were like, oh, hands down, if you can afford it, get the 3600D. It, we love that machine. They said, it's got all these advanced features that some of these really high end machines have in this machine, you know, this for a really great price. And so I was like, you know, that, that's what I'm going to do. So I went ahead and got it six by 10 hoop. And I thought, you know, and I was thinking in the back of my mind too, don't tell Michelle this. I was like, 
I'll get off a little cheaper by doing this. I won't have to buy a four by four and then later on have to upgrade it to a six by 10 hoop. <laughs> so yeah. I thought I'll just get her that one to start out with and that'll last her for a long time. And, and so anyway, she got it. She absolutely loves it. And she's trying to learn how to do, you know, sewing and embroidery both because she's never, you know, sewn before at all on a machine. So this is all new, new to her. So, uh, but anyway, I, on their recommendations. And so I know that you've got that machine, you love it. And so what I, if we could this morning, I'd really like for you just to talk about your experience with it and then show us uh, some really cool things and maybe even do some samples or something on it. I, would everybody like to see that? Chime in if you'd like to see Carly do some little samples and, and some things. But anyway, I'm, I'd like to just go to you and, and, and kind of just take it away and tell us a little bit about your experience with that machine and then what you like about it. And then just, if you can, you know, show some demos on it. Okay. So um, my experience is, so we're talking about Michelle with the four by four machine. Everyone I talk to that gets a four by four, by four machine and gets in, you know, learns the, the, the tricks of the trade and, and learns how to use it. Within two to three months, they immediately want a bigger machine. So you did a great job uh, going for the big guy from the get go. <laughs> but the 3600D is an awesome machine. It one of the things you learn when you get into embroidery is hoop size and hoop size does matter and your projects are limited by the size hoop that you can use so when people are looking for a machine the thing i ask them right off the bat is what do you want to make what are you thinking about making what are you, what are things that maybe you don't know how to do now but you're interested in learning for the future and all those things tie in to what size are they looking to accomplish and that tells you you know, what size machine you should go with. So the 3600D has, um, it comes, the nice thing is it comes with a couple hoops, but the largest um, embroidery field is six by 10. And I have that hoop in front of me here. And just to give you an idea how large it is, okay? So I mainly do clothing, children's type things, blankets, towels, um, this size, I can even do an adult size shirt with it. So there's a, a large range of things that you can do with such a large hoop. Also, one of my new favorite things now is um, in the hoop projects, like zippered bags. I can make a big, beautiful zippered bag in this giant hoop. So the main that's the main thing. Like for me as an embroiderer, I'm looking at hoop size. <laughs> but coming from using a lower model machine, a smaller machine, not only is it the size that is awesome, but some of the features. And if you've ever used a four by four or a five by seven machine, you know all about something we call jump stitches. And you learn to, you immediately start to loathe them. They're, they're not fun. Um, depending on the design, there might be jumps all over the place and you have to snip them. Um, sometimes I even have to watch my machine and stop it and snip it before it stitches over it. So the 3600D cuts jump stitches and that is my favorite thing. Um, then now, and I'll be honest, this today was the first time I pulled the embroidery unit off and put the sewing unit on. I've been meaning to do it since I got it, but I was so excited about all the embroidery features that I just went straight to embroidering. Um, so, but I have, we're doing a sip and stitch project tomorrow night using this machine. So if you wanna see a really full demonstration of it, come watch tomorrow night. We are making, where is it? Um, bunting, 4th of July bunting. So we're making a, each of these triangles is an in the hoop project. And then when we're done, I'm gonna get some bias tape and I'm gonna sew them all together. So I'm gonna use my sewing machine feature on, on here and I'm so excited about it. Um, I'm not a seamstress. I, I know I can, I can stitch the straight line. That's what I'm going for right now. But I'm excited about all the features that this machine has on the sewing side that I want to start incorporating more and more into my projects. So the first thing I wanna do is show you the machine. Uh, I got, my camera to work. I'm so excited. Um, when we did Hoop Fest last week, this camera showing the machine was not working. So I couldn't actually demonstrate the applique um, project for you. So I got it working. Very excited. Um, so this is the 3600D. Um, you see how nice and large it is. I have my pretty sewing mat on top of it that helps. I mean, not it's already a quiet machine, but this helps with um, sound and also helps them, keeps the machine from vibrating. It keeps, it helps it in place. So 
here she is. Right now I have the embroidery arm on her. And another nice upgrade from the four by four and five by seven machines is those machines hoops are on a bracket system and they have two little pegs and you have to get it just right for the hoop to get on. And sometimes it doesn't always lay flat. With the 3600D, you now have the feature to just slide the hoop on, super easy. You know it's in, you lock it in place, and now you don't have to worry about your hoop accidentally popping off in the middle of a project if you didn't have it secured to that bracket completely. So another really nice feature. So what I have here is my five by seven hoop, some cutaway stabilizer. I'm using the Stay Perfect medium cutaway. Um, I always like to use cutaways when I'm using a woven. So this is a woven quilting co cotton. So I have that just hooped on there and I just wanted to quickly demonstrate applique. We had talked about it last week. There are three steps to it. So I have loaded here, I use my little, try and my camera doesn't focus too well. So I wanna make sure I'm not messing it up. Um, but I have just a simple satin stitch circle and I have a K in between, but we're gonna fill in that circle with some applique fabric. So I've loaded the design. I had it on my USB um, and I've loaded it. So now I'm going to hit embroider. So now it's ready to go and it's telling me all the steps. And even though this looks like it's only two steps because there's a circle and a K in the middle, it's actually four because that circle is broken down into three steps. The placement stitch, the tack down stitch, and the final um, stitch, which is satin in this case. So all we need to do, you notice this is not red, it's because we need to lower the presser foot and no more messing around with the back of the machine. All we have to do is press a button. So now the machine is ready to stitch and I have some pink thread loaded on there and we're gonna go around in a circle and that's gonna show me exactly where to put my applique fabric. So it's super quick and that is done. And let me show you. Okay, so now I'm just gonna slide the hoop off the machine. And so I could show you, well, let's see if you could see. You see that pink, that, that um, it's very faint, but you see that pink line? We are gonna make sure we put our applique fabric right on top of that. So I will put you back over here. Oh wait, I don't think I did a good job. Here we go. There's the, I thought I was showing you this, but I wasn't. <laughs> Here is the applique, here's the placement stitch. So we're going to put that on there and make sure it covers it completely. Okay, now we're back to the machine. Now we're gonna slide that back in. Okay, now that I have it in place, I'm gonna put it. So normally I wouldn't take my hoop off for that step, but I wanted to make sure y'all saw the applique um, stitch. So now again, I'm just going to lower my presser foot and now it's gonna do the tack down stitch. So this is super quick. And uh, we had talked about last week with applique, I like to put heat and bond on the back of all of my appliques. I do have it already on here, but I'm not gonna show you the ironing and all that stuff today because I just wanted to quickly demonstrate how this particular project works. So now we have the applique piece tacked down. So let me go back. So now you see my table. All right, so now we have this, but you could see it's tacked down. I got that circle. So now I use my applique scissors and I just go around. And since this is a satin stitch, I'm, get, I'm trying to get as close as I can to that tack down stitch. like this and I think Sewing Machines Plus has some scissors like this and they're made by Tula Pink and they're super pretty and they're my favorite. They're um, iridescent metal material. So favorite scissors. All right, so that's it. Now we have the applique. So the last step would be the satin stitch and that's gonna cover up that raw edge and then I'm gonna stitch a K on top of that. So if y'all would like to see that, I can show that as well. Or if you want, 
um, I can show y'all how easy it is to switch it over to the sewing side. So let me know, Blaine, what would you like to see? Let's see. So I'll go ahead and start showing you the, the stitch. So the next stitch is the satin. So I think it, and the machine will tell me, so I have four minutes um, left of stitching. So it's not that long at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And here it's just going around the circle and then it's gonna do that nice um, satin stitch. So while it's doing that, I could tell y'all some of the other things that this machine, one of the other really nice features of this machine is that D at the end of the model number, the 3600D is a Disney. And it is preloaded with, I think 36 Disney designs. And it's, as soon as I got this machine, the first thing I did was I made my daughter a shirt. Let me see if I could find it. I don't know if I have it in this little pile right here. I got a bunch of examples of stuff. No, I don't have it. But it's a, um, I've made her just a little white shirt and it has a little Minnie Mouse on like the pocket um, uh, left chest area. Um, and it's super cute. And they have some adorable princess designs. Um, they have Toy Story. They have Monsters, Inc. They have Winnie the Pooh. And then they have all the original Disney characters, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Pluto, Goofy, I think. So super cute, um, lots of things that you can do with those designs. And then as all of the brother embroidery machines, it comes preloaded with a bunch of beautiful designs and you have a big colorful booklet um, when you get your machine that comes with a manual and you can flip through and see all the beautiful designs and it tells you exactly what size those designs are so you can you know, figure out what kind of project you would want to put them on. However, you still should be able to resize them slightly on the machine itself if you need it a little bigger, a little smaller. Um, the machine will allow you to resize and move it around on the hoop so that you can get it exactly where you want it for your project. So while that is stitching, I just wanted to show you a couple of the things that I've made with this machine. Um, this, so I told y'all, I, I really love in the hoop projects. And if you're not familiar with what in the hoop projects are, they are when you just hoop stabilizer, that's it. So you're not embroidering an item or a, a piece of clothing or a piece of fabric. You're not adding anything to something you already have. You are making something completely new with the embroidery machine. And it's, it combines the steps of applique and, and it's, it's like an applique, but it's, you're not doing it on a piece of fabric. So all you hoop is stabilizer and that's it. And then depending on what kind of design you're putting, it'll tell you where to, you know, it'll do placement steps to tell you where to put the piece of fabric and then so on. And sometimes you uh, stick things under your hoop to make it or you have to turn things inside out. So this is one of the things we made. This is a tooth fairy pillow. And so I made this on the six by 10 hoop on this machine. And it was a super fun project and we did it as a sip and stitch project. So you'll be able to rewatch the live tutorial on my YouTube channel. But here's just an example of something super cute that you can make with that six by 10 hoop. And I have not yet made a nice six by 10 zippered bag, but that's next on my list. And let's see, I think other things you can do with the five by seven hoop is like I have this dish towel here. So this is a fun um, project you can make um, for people as gifts or for yourself. If you're a camper, this is the super cute design of um, home is where you park it. So that's something that was done in a five by seven hoop. So the satin stitch is now done. So let me show you. Here it is. So now it's covered all of that raw edge of the fabric and you can't see it anymore. And I think as you can tell, if um, you know, while I'm talking, the machine is super quiet. So all that's left now is the K that's gonna go in the middle. I'm just gonna leave that pink thread on there, lower the presser foot and go. But if you wanted to change the color, you know, that would be the part where you would. And if I would be putting my full name in there and not just the K, 
it would stop and cut the jump stitch between each letter. So you wouldn't have, depend. It, it actually depends on how far the letters are apart, but most of the time it will cut the jump stitch between each letter so that you don't have to go and do it after with your scissors. So, let's see. Um, so once the K is done stitching, I'm gonna show you that. So you, you've you know, got a little taste of how the embroidery feature works. And then I wanna show you how easy it is, and even for me, who's, you know, not used to having a combo machine. And I have a brother sewing machine and I, I have them next to each other on my craft table. And I've always just gone from, you know, if I need to embroider something and then if I need to sew something, I just hop on the machine next door. Now, granted, my brother sewing machine is, is a lower model. It's the 6, 000, CS6000i, which is a great machine. And I've I personally have never used a machine nicer than that one. I, I, it's great, right? And I've heard it's 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 a workhorse from people that recommended it for me. Um, however, you know, just being used to using that machine, and it, it's a, a nice embroidery machine. It has, I think, sixty different stitches on it. Um, a embroidery sewing machine. Now, I set this one up today as a sewing and put the sewing feature started and went to stitch. It's so nice. <laughs> it's so much nicer than my my 6000 um i and it it's it's silly little things for me but how you can program the machine to automatically backstitch for you automatically cut the thread automatically lift the presser foot like all those things were like you know several steps i had to take when i was done doing a project on my old sewing machine so silly little things like that for me is a big deal. <laughs> and I'm sure that is for experience um, so as, as well. Th those are features that I think people are looking for. So we're almost done with the K. So just to give you a look at that, it's sewing and looking nice. Um, the stitching on this machine is beautiful. It's, uh, it is quiet and fast. I think I have it set. So Comparing to the lower end models, the four by four and five by seven, they only have a maximum speed of 650 stitches per minute. This one goes to 850 stitches per minute. So it's also faster than those smaller machines. So here is the finished applique. You can see, there we go, now it's focused. So look how pretty, I love satin stitching. It's so nice and, um, and professional looking, elegant looking, so super nice. So now let's get this stuff out of the way. And if you see this cord here, that is my foot pedal I have going under the machine so that it's ready for sewing. So what we need to do first, so we hit okay here, and I'm just gonna I always go back to the home screen when I'm stitching, when I'm stitching something just so that it, it goes back. Um, now I'm gonna turn the machine off. So where's my thing? There we go. All right, so I, the main thing you need to do is turn it off when you're switching. There is a lever right here at the end that I can put my hand underneath and then just pull like this. So I'm gonna do this and look at that. It comes right off. So I am going to put this over here. Okay, be very careful with it. <laughs> And so now we have what looks like this, and they have this piece, which you can sew with it like this if you're doing um, a cuff or anything where you need a smaller arm, you can do that. If you need more uh, flat space, you can slide this baby on. Oh, but before we do that, there is a switch in the back right here where you see my hand is behind the needle, and that is telling the machine whether you want the feed dogs down or the feed dogs up. So before I slide this on, I'm gonna move that little switch and now it's going to know I want the feed dogs up. And that's going to help, you know, pull your fabric back while you're sewing. So the only other thing we need to do is change the foot. And this is really easy. And I have all my pieces in here. This comes with a bunch of different feet and a, a little kit and everything you need. So it, I think it has like nine or ten different feet. Blaine, Blaine will know all the super specific things. But all I have to do is unscrew this a little bit.
like that. And so I'm taking off the embroidery foot. And there's actually two pieces. So this is the foot holder and it has it to wear all the feet. So I could show you like, this is my little kit with all the feet, right? All of these feet snap on to the foot holder very easily. So I'm going to take the basic J and all I have to do is that and it's on there, ready to go. And now I just slide that in the same place where the embroidery foot was, it goes up and I tighten it. And that was it. So I did not have to take the needle out to do this. Now, if you want to change needles, depending on your sewing project, you know, that could be a good point when you want to do it. But for me, it was easy to not have to add that extra step. And now I can turn the machine back on. Ah, there we go. And now it's a sewing machine. And I just press this. And now I have a whole new screen, which I know it's a little bit, a little bit bright. Um, but I have a whole new screen there with the different types of stitches. And it will tell you the width, the length, um, the shift, and the tension. And all those things can be adjusted um, using the machine. And you have several different stitch types. And so to say I pick one way over here like this one, it's now telling me I need to switch to the G foot. And right now I have the J foot in. So that lets me know, okay, I shouldn't do that stitch with this foot and I should change it. So again, I'm not an experienced sewist. So things like this are really helpful for me <laughs> because I would not know better. <laughs> so now that we have the sewing feature set up, let's, y'all hear my dog barking, I'm sure. Um, so now, I am going to show you that feature that I like. Now, where did I put that piece of fabric I wanted to practice stitch on? I had it. There it is. Okay. So I was playing with it earlier and I just used just a piece of, of um, scrap fabric to do some stitches on. So I'm going to raise the presser foot. I'll just put it underneath, lower it. And now I got the foot pedal underneath me here. And it's so quiet and it does so fast. You could go super fast, a little bit fast, however you need. And then I have all the features here of cutting the thread, the needle lift up when I did that and raise the presser foot. So now I could just pull that where before with my old machine, you know, it was always cutting and trimming things. And now it can cut, do all that cutting for me. So you just see that simple straight line. So I had to press buttons to do that. One of the cool features is that right here is a picture of the presser foot, right here is a picture of the back stitch, and right here is a picture of the cutting. So now I have the machine programmed so that lower the presser foot. It is going to automatically back stitch. I'm going to press my foot pedal. It's going to automatically back, back stitch for me. See how it goes back now? Okay, so now we're going to do a line. All right, now say that's as far as I want it to go but I want to do a back stitch. I'm going to hit the back stitch button. It's going to back stitch for me. Now it's going to automatically cut it, automatically raise the presser foot. So those little things like there help with depending on your project. You know, if you always forget to back stitch, you can have it program where it does it for you. And when you get to the end of where you want it to sew, it will back stitch, cut, and raise the presser foot for you where you just pull it off. So I really like this and I'm looking forward to making my banner tomorrow night with the sewing feature. So first we're gonna embroider uh, one of the pieces of bunting in the hoop and then we're gonna switch it out and then we're gonna sew it on the bias tape and make a cute little banner. So I'm super excited about that tomorrow night. So do y'all have any questions for me? Any particular things y'all want to know about either projects to do on this machine or features of it? Let me know. Does it have a top load bobbin? Yes. So it has the same, let's see if I could switch over. It has the same 
top load bobbin as all of my other brother flatbed machines and super easy to change out and um, and load right in. And I love buying pre-wound bobbins. <laughs> Highly recommend them. Let's see. You do not have to park the arm, Teresa says. I don't know what that means. Let's see, what is the throat size? Um, eight inches, eight inches. It has a little measuring tape on the bottom of the bed for you. So like a yellow yeah, ruler measuring tape. So if you are a quilter, I think that is a decent size throat size. I'm looking at my CS 6000i and that probably only has like five or six inches for throat space. Is, is it easy to thread? Yes, all of my brother machines are super easy to thread. Um, however, my one recommendation is I like to use a thread stand with my machines, all of my embroidery machines. My sewing machine, I like the way that one threads, my, my older brother, but all the embroidery machines that have the, um, the built-in thread holder where the thread is going horizontal is not my favorite. So I use a thread stand. But other than that, just running through the thread path is super easy and it auto threads the needle for you, um, the needle for you, which is my favorite thing. <laughs> that and cutting jump stitches. Um, does that machine use the same thread for sewing and embroidery? So I have been told that I can use embroidery thread for sewing. And honestly, um, because I hate winding bobbin so much on my my older sewing machine, I've always just popped in my embroidery thread. Um, it's 90 weight bobbin thread for the embroidery machine. I've always used that in my older sewing machine. Now, granted, I do very simple projects. Now you'd have to talk to someone more experienced like my friend Amber um, that was on last week with Bingham Bliss. She really knows her stuff when it comes to sewing. Um, she maybe can recommend a different um, thread weight when you're doing garments or um, different projects. But I personally, have used my embroidery bobbins and my embroidery thread um, for sewing. <laughs> um, how many hoops does it come with, Ginger X? It comes with two hoops, a five by seven and a six by 10. And then you can purchase a four by four for it. And I think also a two by three. So you have four different sizes. I want to say it might also be possible to get a six by six, but um, Someone at Sewing Machines Plus could probably answer that for you to make sure that it would fit this model machine. Do I use polyester thread, Denise asks. Yes, I um, use the exquisite brand um, polyester um, 40 weight embroidery thread. So let's see. Awesome, good questions, everybody. Let's see, I don't hear you, Blaine, you there? I still don't hear you, did my stuff go out? You hear me now? Yes, now I hear you. Hey, I'm back live. <laughs> <laughs> Here. So uh, I said it was really good questions. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so on, uh, I guess in the other machine you have is the CS6000i, correct? The sewing yes. machine? I know, so that's one of our, That's that's, pretty crazy that you have that machine too, because that's one of our machines too, that we're, we have one special. Uh, so two of the machines we have, now the other machine, we have the uh, NS80E, which is the embroidery only. Okay. And then we have the 3850, which is a sewing machine. Awesome. And then we're gonna have that CS6000i, and then we naturally have the NQ3600D. So two of the machines you have that we're, we have on special, we got a great buy from brother, we're just gonna pass the savings on. and. But you know, I, that's one reason I, I love that you being on here today. You kind of talk a little bit about how much you love the embroidery feature, but not only the embroidery feature, how great that sewing machine is on it. And uh, because you know, again, you know, we always comes down to you know, we've had this discussion. I think you and I have too. It always comes down to, do I buy a machine, uh, embroidery only, or do I buy a combo machine? Mm -hmm. That's always the question I get all the time. Which one do you buy? Do I, you know, and I know people say, okay, well, you know, I like having my embroidery machine where then I can go over here and do my sewing machine. But then some people say like, you know, I want to buy, you know, I spend my money once. I want to buy this great right. embroidery thing that I can sew on as well. 
I know it's funny. The last time we talked about this, the last time we talked about this was before I got this machine. And I, (laughs) my response was personally, if you have the space now, you know, space is also a big factor too, depending on where you're working on your dining room table or you have a designated space. Um, I liked having an embroidery machine and a sewing machine. However, now that I have this <laughs> and I see how easy it is to switch over to the sewing side, I think I'll be using this one a lot more now. Yeah. Well, see, that's kind of the way I look at it. I, I think it's, you know, it's just going to come to that individual, you know, because everybody's needs are a little differently, you know, different. And I know just like Michelle, you know, her, we, we got her one of the uh, uh, cabinets, the uh, arrow cabinets for it. And you know, it holds the machine. Well, now she's got one central location that she can go and do her embroidery. She can do her sewing there. So that's kind of, you know, what she wanted. She didn't want a bunch of different machines. But then I know some people like yourself and, and you know, uh, Amber and, and Cindy uh, that, that are have, you know, been on our show before that y'all do, you know, Etsy stores and things. Y- it's y'all like to have a little bit of edge because of the production. So you're kind of yeah. like in have that specialty machine that you can go from, you know, different things that you're sewing uh, and working on. So I totally understand that part of it and I get it. But again, I think that, you know, it, it comes to that individual and we try to just offer the best that we can offer to, to fit your needs, basically. Yeah, it, it this really is like an all in one package. You know, if you want to do a little bit of both, it, it is a great great package deal that you get the two in one and that it's simple to go in between the two um, different uses of the machine and it's you know it's not humongous it's an it's a nice size machine but it's not like overbearing so it's still it's definitely still portable if you have a sewing machine um, carrying case or one of those cute roller bags Um, so there's so much that you could do with it and it really is a nice machine and you know, the thing is, just like your CS6000i, you know, I know some people think that's that's kind of like a beginner machine, but I don't even really think it's a beginner machine. I think it's a pretty nice intermediate sewing machine. Yeah. That, you know, again, if, if I can't tell you how many of those we've sold to quilters, you know, just for piecing. Yeah, I got mine last March. So previously I had like a 30-year-old Kenmore machine that my mother-in-law <laughs> gave me. And because typically when I would sew something, it would just be a super little simple project. And then last March, I started getting into um, cute little girl pattern uh, dresses and um, different little things. And I'm like, I want to learn sewing more. And um, and then her machine, like it just kept eating and it I had it tuned up, but it was it was done. So when I, I started doing research on which sewing machine I should buy, a lot of people recommended the 6000i and they're like it is a workhorse like it they've they've had it for years and you know if they're in production and and making things for their etsy shops and um and that it works really really well so that's why i went with that one and that was you know nice um upgrade for me it definitely is not the lower end of the sewing machines that you can get um but now learning learning about it i see all those features that the computerized (laughs) sewing yes. machines where then like, Oh, that's, that's the next step up. So. Yeah, it is. You're, you're exactly right. You know, and that's the kind of way, you know, we try, we train our, our staff too is, you know, there's going to be a customer out there that wants a basic machine. It's not computerized that they don't have to spend a ton of money to get into that'll do the job. And that particular machine, you're right. It is a workhorse. And then if you wanted to have the, a little, you know, it's kind of like car shopping. I always tell people, you know, you go in there and you can buy a car that's, you know, it gets you from point A to point B, get good, good gas mileage and, you know, has a radio and air conditioner, but then you can get one that does the exact same thing, just does it a little nicer, a little quicker, a little easier. And uh, so that's kind of the way sewing machines are too. It's just, you know, depends on what your needs are. So I think this morning we've got four great machines uh, you know, we have two embroidery machines. We have two sewing machines that we're going to offer. And again, I, I you know, you're probably going to be mad at me, Carly, because you probably paid a lot more for your 6,000 I than they're going to be able to buy it for today because we've got <laughs> an unbelievable. And I can't even tell you people how much they are because uh, I get in trouble with brother, but we got this special buy. They get, you know, we got a special cost on it when we bought them. And, you know, my theory is pass it on to the customers, let them have a great savings. 
And uh, we got so, we don't have a ton of them in stock that we can do this with. So that's why I'm saying it today and today only, I'm gonna give them a deal on these things that they're not gonna get anywhere else and probably not even from us because <laughs> it's that, that good a price. I mean, it really is. And we've got some packages. Nick's team's been working, trying to get even some packages to put together. And because what people don't know, sometimes it's not all about price when we buy something from a, a manufacturer. It's they give you packages like for free. Nice. And so some, and when we get those for free, we actually pass them on. So like your machine right now that like you talked about today, the 3600D, we're, we got uh, some free thread kits from brother that we're actually just throwing them in with the machine. And that's that Disney thread kit that we're, you, they can order that right now and get the thread kit any day of the week until they run out. But we're doing something beyond that. That is awesome because I got, what it was is I bought a lot of stuff for hoop fest and uh, the manufacturers gave me some really good deals on certain, you know, products. So, uh, now I'm, passing that on to the customers and we're going to have some really good prices and and i bought so much stuff for hoop fest i got some really good deals on a lot of things so hey we got them in they came in just this week and uh, so we're ready to to make some deals on them for and help everybody out so uh carly i sure do appreciate you coming on sean know everybody loves you being on here and uh i've always enjoyed talking to you and i hope everything's going good down there in in, in the west bank and uh, I know that uh, you were working today and you, you kind of ran home to, to do this for us. We do sure do appreciate it. And I know we'll be, you'll be back on here soon, but I want to remind everybody, go to carlybell.com. Uh, that's Carly's web, website. It has all of her social media links on there. She is doing that sip and stitch tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central time, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Go check it out. She's going to be doing some projects on that 3600D uh, I've seen your sip and stitch before and it's awesome. You do, you go from start to finish with the whole project and they usually, I mean, I, do, don't they last a couple hours? Yeah. But sometimes they get long. <laughs> <laughs> so bring your beverage of choice. Yes. And, yes. and just sit down and learn a lot from Carly because she is going to teach you a ton of stuff and her whole uh, squad is going to be on there as well. So y'all make sure y'all go check that out and you'll become a sip and stitch squad, right? Yes. There we go. Well, Carly, thanks a lot. And uh, I'll be talking to you real soon. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Lane. Bye, everybody. All right, guys. We are so, so uh, happy to have Carly on this morning. We hope y'all enjoyed that demo. She is so good with that, that machine and stuff. But so, guys, it's to the point I'm going to start talking about these machines. So, the 3600D that you just saw Carly do first or do the demo on. that is the NQ3600D. That's the one I bought my wife at Valentine's Day. That machine, you're seeing it on the screen right there. The normal price on this is $34.99. This, you know, great machine. This thing has 291 built-in stitches. Uh, this thing, you know, it's a six by 10 in Broadway area. It has 233 built-in designs. Uh, 35 designs in this are featuring the Disney characters. Um, it has 140 frame pattern combinations, 11 in Broadway fonts. Uh, it, you know, it's 8.3 inches from the, on the needle, from the needle to the arm. So, you know, I think somebody asked about the throat size. Uh, so 8.3 inches there, uh, it has a 4.85 inch LCD screen and guys, this thing, it automatically cuts your threads. It autom it cuts your jump stitches. Uh, you know, I think Carly keyed on a lot of that. And then even the sewing feature features on it, this thing, you know, it has the knee lifter. It has, you know, it's 850 stitches per minute. It has 10 uh, buttonhole styles. And uh, so this thing is a really great machine, has a lot of features packed in in a very small, medium sized package and uh, for a great price. Today and today only till 6 p.m. end of day Pacific time, we have got an unbelievable special on this. So if you've been interested in one of these machines, you know, Carly's got this machine. She absolutely loves it. It's the Blaine Brother Special today. You can go call in and say, I'm calling about the Blaine Brother Special. They're going to know exactly what you're talking about. Tell them which machine of these four that you're, you're interested in. But if you're interested in this 3600D, you just call in and say, I want the Blaine Brother Special and the 3600D. They are going to give you an unbelievable choice basically you're gonna have some choices of some pricing some some packages 
Uh, we have some packages that have financing in there. So unbelievable today. Nick's crew is standing by right now. If you can't get through on the phones because I know they're busy, Kyle is going to put that Google Sheets link up in the chat. Just go click on that, that Google Sheets, open it up, you know, put your name, a contact number, they can give you a call and just say, I'm calling about the Blaine Brothers special uh, 3600D, if that's the one you want. And uh, they'll give you a call back as soon as they can. But again, guys, I can't stress enough. If you've been in the market for one of these, I'm going to make it extremely easy for you today because we have an unbelievable price and special on this. Give us a call right now, 800-401-8151, and uh, see if you can get through to, to the phones. Because uh, I know Nick's got his whole team over there today ready to go. And uh, give them a call, and they can, they can tell you all about this machine. The other machines. So let's talk about the next one. The next machine. Uh, David, which one do you have you want to put up? You want to put the NS? Which one is it? Okay, let's talk about the 3850. David's got this. So this is the 3850. It's normally 199. Now again, this is, I would probably consider this as a, a starter sewing machine. This is something that you would use if you're, you know, like a beginner sewing machine. This would be an unbelievable Christmas present for somebody getting into sewing. Uh, if you wanted something portable that you can take, it's extremely lightweight. If you want to take it to your camp, you want to take it to, you know, vacation with you in your RV, whatever you want to do, this was a great sewing machine for that. Normally $199, we have a great, great special on this uh, today. And again, guys, this thing, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a compact little machine, but it has a ton of features in this. It has 37 built-in stitches, 63 stitch functions, uh, and uh, including that, that satin stitch applique, it has an automatic one-step button holder and the stitch balance control, uh, quick set drop-in bobbin. Uh, you see automatic needle threader, which is huge. It has bobbin winding on it. Uh, it's, you know, it's got a free arm, has a flat bed convertible sewing surface where you can take that off. Uh, twin needle for the two color stitching, uh, thread tension control dial. Uh, so it's just a ton of things. It has accessory storage on there. So, it is a great, great, great machine for somebody uh, getting into sewing. And again, it, you know, you can see it right there. It's a really compact machine and a great machine. So again, guys, if you're interested in getting somebody a, a present, birthday, Christmas, uh, if you're thinking about getting something for yourself, if you're wanting to go to retreats, this is a great machine to do that because it's such a compact size. And $199 is the regular price today and today only. I have a Great, great special on this. And uh, we're going to pass that savings right on to you, what I got from brother. And uh, we're limited. To all these I'm showing you right now, we're limited on the quantities. So that's why I'm just saying it today and today only, because we'll probably sell out of the ones. And, you know, granted, I may have, you know, 50 of them in stock, but I only got deals on a certain amount of them. And that's the thing. I, I, when I purchased them, uh, you know, our next order, we got some deals and that's when it ends. So I, we're, we're passing those deals through. So this particular machine, I've got 25 in stock that we can sell like that. So when the 25 are gone today, they're gone. And uh, so make sure if y'all are interested in one of these, give them a call right now. And uh, somebody said, oh, Ginger says, my daughter has this machine and loves it. You're right, Ginger. This is a great little machine. I, I tell you, you know, I, I tell people all the time, you know, brother makes such good products. And you know, sometimes you look at some of these machines, they look like little toys because they're kind of small, but there's no toy, anything about this being a toy. This is a the real deal, great machine, very good quality. So uh, Judy says, that is a great starter. Bought one for my, my granddaughter. Judy, you're exactly right. It's a great starter machine. And it's so, the, the thing I tell about people with starter machines, it's not about the price on a starter machine. It's not about the size. What makes to me a starter machine that it's extremely easy to operate and control and do things just like it's got the dial for the stitches and things. That is extremely easy for somebody to learn. And the learning curve is so easy. They can have this thing out of the box and be sewing on it in 15 minutes. That's the great thing about this little machine. So anyway, I'm encouraging y'all right now, if you've got anybody in mind that you might want to get one of these for, or even for yourself, give us a call right now, 800-401-8151. Nick's crew standing by. Kyle will put that Google links uh, chat or the Google page link uh, in the chat. And you can click on that if you can't get through the phones and, and tell us what you're wanting and, and they'll give you a call back. All right. So the next machine, uh, David, which one are you going to put up next? Is that the 
CS CS 6000i. Five, 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 oh, this is the 50 CS 505 5055. Okay. So this is the CS 5055. This has a 60 stitch. This is a computer machine. And again, y'all can see that regular price uh, we've been selling it for is 179. I am telling you today, okay, we talk about, you know, a basic machine and I talk about how ease of use and everything it is because it is strictly a dial. What this does, this takes this up just to the next next level because what it happens, you look it down there, you can see that stitch guide, you type in what stitch you want and it actually gives you the LCD up there. You can change it with the buttons. So it's just a little bit more advanced. It's not a dial. So you're going to have a little bit more things to offer when you go uh, to the to the thing. You, you know what I mean? It's like you're not dialing it. You're not dialing it anymore. You're, you're basically typing in what you want. So, you know, again, it's kind of one of those things if you've ever typed on an old manual typewriter and then you go to an electronic typewriter, you can pick a lot of things a little easier. That's kind of the way this is. But anyway, this has 60 unique built-in stitches, including seven styles of the one-step auto size buttonhole. It has the LED, LED, I can't even speak today, LED work area for the light under it. It's great, really lit well. Uh, it has the advanced uh, easy needle threading, threading system. So if y'all been a brother fan, you know when they have that that threading system on them, it makes it super, super easy. You don't have to thread the needle, just hit a button and it does it, which is awesome. Uh, the other thing, it has the free arm. You can pull off or you can pull that you know off to have the free arm so you can do the cuffs and sleeves. So it is a great, great, great next step machine. A little bit more expensive than the first one we showed you, but this one, it, again, it's it's a fantastic machine. It has a maximum sewing speed, about 750 stitches per minute. And uh, so I think a stitch length of five millimeters and a stitch width of seven millimeters. So, you know, you can do a lot with this machine. And it's still a pretty compact machine uh, and, and it's extremely lightweight. So again, uh, great, great machine. Guys, you see it right there. I think Laurie, Laurie is saying nice little machine. It sure is, Laurie. And this is about the same size as the, the CS5055 that we showed showed you earlier. And, um, or this is the 5055. What was the one we just showed? The 6,000. 3850. I'm sorry. The 3850. This is about the same size as that 3850. It's just a electronic version of it instead of being the dial version. And so if you just want that little step up, but again, guys, you see that price of $179.99. We are going to beat that. Beat that. That's all I can say. I can't tell you any pricing. I can't tell you any packages. I'm just going to tell you it is a lot better than what you're seeing on the screen. Give us a call right now, 800-401-8151. If you've been interested in this, you know, and tell them that you're calling about the Blaine special on that CS5055. And if you can't get through on the phones, give us a call. I mean, get on that Google Sheets on the link, on the chat. Kyle's putting that link in there. Hit that link, and it's going to open Google Sheets up. That gets updated real time in our call center. And just put your name, a contact number. They can give you a call and just tell them what you're you're interested in. Tell them you want the Blaine Special on the CS5055, and they'll know. They'll give you a call, and then they can help you out on that. All right, so our last machine is an embroidery machine. It's that NS80. And again, guys, you know, Carly and I were talking about do you want a sewing machine? Do you want an embroidery machine only? This is an embroidery machine only. And uh, this is sewing? Oh, I'm sorry. Sewing only. Jeez, I, I, I'm, I'm losing it today. So uh, <laughs> sewing only. So this is the sewing only machine as well. And uh, this is the NS80. Again, guys, you're, you're going up another level. So we've, we've talked to you about a basic... Uh, manual machine with a dial. We went to the electronic machine, same size. Now you're going up just a little bit. Now this is a little bit larger machine than you saw before, uh, but this is a electronic machine. This is a fantastic machine. And then we got a great, great package with this day. The normal price on this is $4.99. Okay. But, but wait, it's better. So this has 80 built-in stitches, including the eight one-step auto size button style. It has a uh, uh, the LED light surface under there. It has a 4.1 inch by 6.4 inch work area. And uh, again, guys, this thing is a great machine. It's going to be lighter weight. You can carry it around. You see it there. It has uh, all the, the feet that come with it. 
And we have got a uh, great package put together for you today uh, for this that you can call in. And uh, again, if you're wanting that intermediate machine, uh, this NS80E is a fantastic machine for that. And uh, so give us a call at 800-401-8151. If you can't get through on the phones, you know, go to that uh, link that Kyle's putting in the chat, the Google Sheets. Click on that, put your name, phone number, and tell them you're, you're calling about the NS80E Blaine Special. And I tell you what, it's going to be uh, exactly what you've been looking for. Because uh, I think Colette just said it looks like a great machine to take to retreats. You're exactly right. This is, I, you know, and again, it's, we talked about, you know, kind of comparing it to cars, you know. Yeah, they'll also, but, you know, this has more stitches, does more things uh, just than the one we had previously. So we basically gave you a, a you know, three steps of sewing machines from brother that we have a fantastic special on. And, uh, you know, and then we go to the big boy that Carly loves was that 3400 or 3600 D. Uh, and then it includes the embroidery. So you're getting a, a top of the line sewing features in that 3600 plus you're getting the, in, in, you know, the embroidery side of it. And, you know, again, it's Disney, uh, six by 10 hoop, Four great machines, guys, that we had on the special today. And I uh, can't uh, get over. David's going to whip through them again so y'all can see these. Those are the regular prices that we sell them for on our website that you're seeing there. But today, I am going to obliterate that. Is that a good word for it, Kyle? Obliterate. I'm going to make it so enticing that Carly Bell is going to give me a call here in a minute and order another one. Get your, car, get your credit card out, Carly. Give me a call, and uh, we can get this. Guys, I'm telling you, this is such a good price on these today, and uh, I wish I could tell you the, the the packages. I wish I could tell you what we had going, but I just can't do it because of the advertising restrictions with the manufacturers. Um, so I, you've got to trust me on this. It is good. It's going to be worth your call. If you're interested in getting one of these machines, it's going to be worth your call, I promise you. And uh, Nick's team standing by over there. Uh, they're manning the phones. And again, I know we're busy, guys. We've been, you know, super swamped in the call center uh, all last week. We were, and we started out this week. It's the same thing. Been really busy, and um, a lot of people still calling us from Hoop Fest because we're honoring Hoop Fest prices all this week too until Friday. And so uh, we have a lot of people still calling. But if you can't get through, Kyle's saving the day with us. He's putting that that Google Sheets link in the chat. You can click that and, and tell us what you're interested in, and they'll give you a call back. So. Um, that's pretty good things, don't y'all think? So, hey guys, I know we're we're already man. Uh, this hour has flown by. I guess when you're used to doing a seven and a half hour show for for six days, <laughs> this seems like really quick and easy. You know, uh, an hour has just flown by. And I tell you, Carla, when she's on here, I could I could listen to her and do demos for two hours. I mean, uh, I hated that we didn't get very much time with her, but maybe we'll get talk her into coming back and we'll have more time with uh, Carly on the show. But Guys, again, remember, if you are interested in one of those four machines, you have till uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time today to act on it and make sure you give them a call because when they're gone, I'm telling you, they're gone. And we don't, we have limited numbers of each one of those machines I, I showed you on the show. And, uh, and you know, we're going to probably sell out of those today. So I'd like to see y'all get, the, especially everybody uh, on the, it's watching today, get the opportunity to get that. So, hey, Paula uh, says, love the embroidery machine. Paula, I do too. I tell you. You know, and I think, you know, y'all probably heard me tell the story, but, uh, you know, Lewis Carney and, and uh, uh, Jerry Granada from Brother, they're, you know, they're the ones that kind of motivated me to get one of these for my wife because I saw them do demos on it and I was just kind of blown away by what they were doing. And, and again, you know, I said, you know, I'm going to, instead of getting her a four by four, what I'd planned to get her, I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and step it up and get the six by 10. So she'll, she'll grow into that six by 10 and, uh, you know, she can do the, the things that she wants to do. Plus she could do jacket backs and different things. And then, She's got a great sewing machine as well. So, uh, and that's what she started doing. Michelle started learning all about the sewing first before she even gets into the embroidery. And so, and I think Carly did the opposite. Carly got into the embroidery and now she's just kind of discovering how great the sewing machine is on it. So uh, again, great machine. So you're right, Denise. I think it is too. I really do. So guys, it's, we're, uh, we're about 15 minutes over. So let me go ahead and we're going to give some stuff away today. And uh, for all y'all, you know, a uh, little, followers and watchers. We want to, to reward you with some free gifts and things that we can do. And uh, so first,
first up we're going to do is we're going to give one of our, our swag bag bundles away. All those event bags you see, we're going to give one of those. Those are $49.99 on our website. You get all eight colors. We're just going to send somebody out there a, 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 a bag bundle. And so, David, do you have us a winner for that? And I'm sure it's going to be a name I can't pronounce. There you go. Can't pronounce it. Laurie. Well, I mean, I know I know Laurie. I can pronounce Laurie. Dealt. So Laurie Dealt. I think that's maybe right. Again, guys, if I if I butcher your name, I'm, I apologize. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Y'all know I'm terrible at names. So Laurie Dealt. I think that may be the way you pronounce it. Uh, congratulations! And how you want to uh, you know claim your prize? Give us a email to contest plural with an S on it at sewingmachinesplus.com and just tell us, you know, where you want it shipped to your name and say, Hey, I won the bag bundle and uh, we'll get it out to you as soon as we get your email. All right. Guess what we're giving away next guys. We are going to give away one of these. Can we see that David? It's probably upside down to everybody. We're going to give one of our world famous sewing mats away. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give you uh, a choice of all six colors you see on the screen right there. That blue is a brother blue. It's the exact paint match. I got it matched from brother. I called him and said, Hey, what's your, your color on that? So it's brother blue, baby lock gold. It matches Bernina and Janome red. And then we have a pink color. And then what I like to call the North Carolina blue and then the LSU purple. I think Carly know that LSU purple. She's down there by Baton Rouge. So, uh, so that I, those are pretty close to North Carolina blue and, and uh, the North uh, the uh, Baton Rouge or the LSU purple. So all six of those you can we're gonna let you pick your color and we're gonna let you pick your size. They come in three sizes. You get a medium, large, and an extra large. That medium size will fit like sergers. It'll fit some of these small machines you saw us highlight. That large size will fit um, some of the larger machines or the medium size machines. And that extra large will fit like that 3600D that Carly was showing. Uh, it'll fit like the, the Luminaire from Brother, the Solaris from Baby Lock. It'll fit those size machines with the what I call the combo machines that have a, the embroidery and sewing where they have that embroidery unit. It'll fit those. So we're going to let you pick your size. So David, get us a winner for one of the sewing mats. So it's Cicely Chandler. Is that right? Cicely Chandler. Congratulations, Cicely. And again, uh, give us an email to contest, plural, with an S on the end of it, at sewingmachinesplus.com. And Cicely, just let us know uh, where to ship it to and uh, your name and everything and and uh, what you won. And uh, we'll match that up and we'll get that as soon as we get your email. We'll get it shipped out to you. All right, guys, we got one more giveaway today. And we are going to give away, Kyle, what was it? It is a... There it is. It's a 6,000 I. That's what Carly's got one of these. And so we're going to give this CS 6,000 I sewing machine away. This is what Carly has. You see it has that little extension table on it. Great, great machine. And we're going to give one lucky viewer one of these a day. So you might, you know, if you were planning on buying one, guess what? If you win this, you won't have to. So, all right, David, let's pull us a winner up. Paula Backer. Paula Backer. Congratulations, Paula. You just won yourself a CS6000i. So, Paula, give us an email to contest plural at sewingmachinesplus.com. I just tell us you won up at the title and down in the, the body, just put your name, where you want this thing shipped to, and just say, hey, I won the machine. And, the, and David and Kyle will know what you got, and they'll get that thing out to you as soon as we get that information. So, guys. What a great show. And uh, it's kind of it's kind of funny. It's went by too fast. I, I can't believe it's already over with because, you know, like I said, when you've been doing those marathons, it, uh, you have, have an hour show, it goes by so fast. But, you know, again, we got to get Carly back on here because Carly uh, is just awesome. And I encourage every one of y'all, it's on the show, to go check her Sip and Stitch out tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Central Time, uh, 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific Time. And you know, she does a, such a good job and, and she does a tutorial. She'll go from start to finish on that project. She's going to be using that, that NQ 3600D tomorrow night doing that. And uh, her, her uh, whole squad will be on there, the Sip and Stitch squad. So, and I think some of them are on here today. So uh, thank you all for joining us. And again, hey, uh, you never know. I may even have given Carly something, kind of a sponsorship, I guess you could say, Kyle. 
to give away on her show tomorrow night. Never know, but you need to tune in to find out. So you never know. Y'all need to tune in, okay? So go to carlybell.com and you can get all the information you need uh, on, on that. Or can we put her uh, website up there real quick, guys, or her link so they can see it? Yeah, go click on her website. She'll have all her social media outlets on there. And then that way you can find her Facebook page and the YouTube where she does that live show. So you don't want to miss that. All right, guys. Uh, again, thank you all for joining in. Kyle's got the uh, it up there on the screen. You can see it, carlybell.com. And uh, Bell's spelled B-E-L-L-E, because I know some people asked me that before. Was it B-E-L-L? -L? No, it's like a Southern Bell, B-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. All right. Uh, Kyle, thanks so much. Kyle did a, a great job at HoopFest. David's here, did a great job at HoopFest. Thank you all so much. And we're glad you all joined in. Hey, and we're going to do something a little different going forward. We can't, can't announce it yet. But if y'all might get to see me more often, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we're toying with the idea that we may have a weekly show with me. So if y'all like that, you know, chime in and tell us that, that you, you'd like to see that because uh, they're, they're wanting us to do a weekly show. And uh, so think about that for a minute if you want to see me weekly or just two weeks is okay. <laughs> so anyway, guys, we appreciate y'all joining in. Y'all have a great, great rest of your day. We'll see you either next week or the week after.